Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. New model time, uh, so it's going to be a quick build. So about an hour ago I put on the community tab um, that I've got a model to build. Should I build it as intended, rubber powered, or should I build it uh, RC conversion? And do you know what? I think I'm going to build it free flight rubber powered. So what is this model? Well, let me turn you down, you can have a look. VMC, that's Vintage Model Company, sort of triplane. Fell in love with the Sopwith triplane when I saw one flying at an air show um, down in South Devon, not far from where I live. And it didn't land, but it just flew over. And what a fantastic, beautiful machine. Very popular with the pilots of the day, apparently. And so here we go. I've got its laser cut. It's very simple, actually. It's all the wood, wood glue. Got the bits and bobs, rubber motor, the transfer sheet you've just seen. Uh, quite a good little um, build manual there, actually. Okay, as you may or not may or may not know, VMC is a British company. And first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the plan because. I always start with fuselage. Oh, there's an ID sheet for the parts, which is rather cool. Very simple construction on the wing. I normally start with the fuselage, so I don't know what the instructions say, but that's what I'm going to start with. So we start by cutting out the fuselage sides, breaking through the tabs, and they come out quite easily and gently does it. The tabs going with the grain are easier to cut. This is in the hard piece of balsa and the tabs going across the grain take a little bit more effort as you'll see in a moment. Here it comes, work out where it is, turn it over, you can see where the tab is and cut through each tab and yeah, so I've got to line those up. I've now also cut out the formers. This is all part of the fuselage construction. Glue those together like and that. The formers have a little 1 16th square cross braces on them to stop them crushing sideways. So you use a piece of the harder 1 16th to uh, glue on there. Uh, a little tube of white glue comes with the kit. I used it for this but I reverted to CA and my own white glue in the end. Well, I'll locate all the other parts in the laser cut sheets and we'll meet back tomorrow morning when these first parts will have dried and start assembling the fuselage. Nice so far. So starting with the wing ribs there's lots to cut out so you cut out all the bits, including the leading and trailing edges, which are also laser cut out, and the wingtip parts themselves. And you pin them down. Because they're quite thick, I could pin actually through these strips. Pop the ribs in, they're a nice strong fit. Make sure that the leading edge and trailing edge are the right distance apart, and the rib at the root there needs to have the template cut. And then I just seed them all uh, C8 them all together. Made for a really quick build actually. The main spar, offer it up before you put the glue in. I use white glue for the main spar. And when you push the main spar in, make sure you push over the ribs and not on the spar itself, else you're likely to crack the spar. Take your time, enjoy the build, go over it, make sure they're fully flushed down. And when you're happy, move on to the next one. You notice I've started on the wing furthest from me so as I could work forwards. Looking at that photo, you can see at the back there, the center section I've made as well. You'll need that for making up the top wing. When you unpin it, make sure to hold the structure down as you pull the pins out, as you're likely to pull the whole thing off the board. Next up was the uh, jigs for aligning the wings 
uh, just make sure that you place them really accurately over the plan and glue them together. Otherwise your wings are going to be out of alignment. You make one pair which you use for one side and then use them for the other side. The instructions tell you all this. In fact, the instructions are really good, I've got to be honest. I used plenty of white glue on that. They weren't going anywhere. They weren't going to be fitted, so that was fine. I made one up, let it dry, and then I made the other one up. Accurately position everything, and it all goes together really nice. Next up was the stringers. I thought I'd do a bit more to the top of the fuselage, so yeah, pop the stringers on. In fact, you didn't see me glue the formers in, but never mind. Pop the stringers on and I CA'd them into position. They're also from the hard sheet of balsa. The undercarriage, I've used a heavier gauge wire in case I ever make it round the pole. So I had to beef up the mountains a little bit more than um, what was suggested and I used a different method as well. And finally, before you can put stringers on the front, you need to fit the bulkhead and that was laminated to F1 as well, so that's all dry. So that just goes into little slots, really nice fitting, just clips together and CA'd in. And then you fit the center cabane struts. Offer them up first, make sure they fit as well as they should, which they were pretty accurate. Just wanted slightly tweaking, but pretty much there. Now the instructions say put the top wing on to glue them in offer the top wing up to make sure everything's square. Well, I hadn't glued the center section to the outer wing, so I just used the center section and it all seemed to line up pretty well. So I was confident that was going to be OK. I also laminated the engine components together and made the cylinders out of the uh, quarter inch dowel they supply. Well, I'm not using what they supply. I'm using this um, thrust bearing from Mike Woodhouse Free Flight Supplies. Uh, that allows you to alter the side and down first and so I had to make the hole a little bit bigger than that but that just sits in the middle like that and the rubber motor will hold it in. Next up, tailplane or again all the components were laser cut, find them all out, double glue the end grain and just assemble it and you just cut the 1 16th square strips for the ribs and there's the fin and rudder made up as well. Oh, here's the wheels as well. They're laminated. Put them together and there's little triangular pieces that go in the four sort of corners, if you like, of the wheel. They support the centre bearing and the ultimately the paper disc that goes on the outside when it's when they're fitted. So I, I'd made the gun as well. So here we are offering up the gun okay. and tailplane and fin and rudder just for effect see how we're getting on see how it's all looking making sure things fit nicely when you sand a light structure it's easier to sand the structure on the flat sandpaper than sand the sandpaper on the structure it's much more controllable just keep feeling and sanding and don't go too crazy because you don't want to sand it away it's only 16th and it's not heavy balsa so I also fitted the cowl now into my electric cordless drill to see how I got on with uh, sanding it to profile. And I loved it. It was great fun. So I can well recommend it that. And I did that with the wheels as well after I've done the cowling. But you can see the sawdust. Not a lot comes off, but just work your way around it. And then I held it on with a couple of pins to make sure it stays in the same place and sanded it nice and smooth. And yeah, nice. there it is. Very quite nice. pleased with that. Um, now, uh, here I'm cutting out the template stuck onto balsa with glue stick for the cockpit surround and front decking. They do suggest you could use thin card if you wanted, but I've got some light 132nd balsa and I fancy doing it in balsa, so offering it up and making sure things just fit nicely. I sprayed the back of it just to help it curl around. The water expands it, so is it pushing it around the curve a bit. But really nice fit. So 
just CA'd that in place when I was happy. And I also did the bit in front of that, but the camera stopped working. So I'm showing you there now the, the front piece is in as well. And it all, it's the front and then round the sides, it's all one piece of uh, template. But again, one thirty second balsa. So I'm really happy with that. The side pieces, um, they recommend you don't put on till after the model's assembled. But I wanted to sand it all, and as I'm using balsa, I wanted to put it on first. So I offered the wing up, made sure that the side pieces were going to fit, and glued them in place, and then removed the wing. And then before, once the wing was tissued, I was I knew it, they'd fit okay. Uh, used a bit of white glue down the um, triangular piece there. Not using as much as it might look like, by the way. And around the edge, I put white glue around the edge of the actual piece. You can see on the cutting board there. I also damped that and then just put it in place and held it in place for a couple of minutes and also put CA on just to pin it into place and then pop the wing off, a little bit of CA and yeah, look at that. <laughs> it went really well. Waited for it to dry and then sanded all the joints so it blended in nicely. And that was a nice job to do. Don't go too crazy if you should use balsa. And then I scalloped the, the rear formers so as they don't show through the top covering, just the stringers. Using a little round file. I'd made the undercarriage up. Now they suggest making it up in two halves, but I bent mine all up in one. And that just goes into slots up to, I've created. And I want to put that in before I tissue it. Also, the um, undercarriage struts embellishments, they're, they're not functional. You have to press grooves into them and glue it, glue them, I see aid them onto the wire and put the axle in as per instructions. And then that was epoxied. Yeah, so, oh, I've also stained the outer struts as well as the cabane struts and you see the tail skid there as well I've made up and stained because they were stained the struts light oak I also put in a rear motor peg just in case I want to put in a longer motor but it might upset the CG too much so I'll have to see how I get on with that but I put it in anyway just in case so I tissued the undercarriage got that finished and epoxied in place and I also painted the inside of the fuselage dark green I'm just explaining there about the little ply plates I put on so I painted inside the fuselage because that section is going to be open so as I can hook the rubber motor onto the dowels start with the tissue made a mistake there that should have been linen cover underneath but I rushed ahead there I wasn't at home at the time so there's the left hand side done looking very smart the right hand side done oh the left hand side's not done there <laughs> done that out of order and there's the completed uh, fuselage on the rudder i've stuck on white tissue and then red and blue over the top they do supply paper in that color scheme if you wanted to use the paper but i prefer to do that because it wraps around so on to tissue in the wing i use glue stick Blue glue stick is better because you can see how much you put on, but you can also see it reflecting in the sunlight from my angle. So using the linen covered tissue, just dropped it down. Don't put too much glue stick on, you don't need to. And then a moment or two later, I just cut the tissue off, leaving about a sixteenth of an inch overlap, maybe slightly less, just so as I could come up around the edges of the structure. And then just tidy up around yeah. the little okay. pieces that need tidying up. Just Put some more glue stick on the edges just to help it stick. Notice how I'm handling it very carefully. So on to the top mm -hmm. part of the wing. If you tissue the wingtip first, you don't get wrinkles in it. Little tip I've picked up and it works really well. So I just cut some darts in it, added some more glue stick around. 
bent them up and then trimmed it off flush with the scissors. That worked really easily. Things get a bit sticky, so keep your scissors clean and wiped clean, otherwise things start sticking. So that's that done. Oh, I'm using the nail file there just to pull the tissue because sometimes you can't grip it if you've got nothing left. So the sand on the nail file just allows you to pull it. So when you put glue stick along the leading edge, don't put it down onto the face of the leading edge, just the very front bit. Otherwise you end up sticking the tissue down where you don't want it to. And now I just stuck some glue stick over the, one of the ribs because I have to cut a slot there for the outer uh, strut to pass through. Yeah, so don't put glue on the flat bit. So get your bit of tissue. There's a shiny side and a dull side. You might notice a slight colour difference in the wingtip there because I had the shiny side up, but me being a middle wing, hopefully nobody will notice. So stick it on the wingtip end first, stretch it back slightly, just take out as many wrinkles as you can, and then just stick it down to the leading and trailing edge. If you don't get it down properly first time, you can pull it up pretty quick and reposition it. And then work your way around, trimming, and finally gluing the edge down. So now the green tissue stuck down onto the linen colored tissue. Here's an easy way to trim the long leading edge. Put it face down on the board and just draw the knife along. Make sure your knife's sharp, else it'll snag. See it's sticking everywhere. So just draw the glue stick down over the tissue just to get some behind the tissue a little bit. Not a lot, and then just make sure it's down nicely. You get a nice edge. Next up is going to be the top wing, starting with the center section and wing tips, and then the main sections. So we'll just do that next. This would seem like a good moment to ask you guys, if you're not subscribed, just hit that subscribe button and it helps with the algorithm, helps to share the video and also uh, means that you'll get to see the maiden flight when I do it. Uh, and if you are subscribed, give the video a thumbs up. That also helps the algorithm and helps to spread it. So a quick update here then guys. So I've finished covering the wing panels. I've sprayed them with water and weighed them down using the my usual technique of weighing them down using the um, sockets <laughs> couldn't think what they're called then and uh, yeah so the water's tightening them out quite nicely and then I'll give them a coat of 50-50 uh, well maybe I might not dope them actually I might spray them with uh, clear matte lacquer since how they've tightened out so well so I might go that route but I've just noticed there's a sort of a wrinkle there look hopefully that will come out don't think it's Maybe I could do with a slightly heavier weight. You'll notice I put them on the um, strips of wood just to take the underneath off of the um, plan in this case because I don't want the tissue to stick to it and I want the air to get in under it. And it what does work very well. They dry out really nice. Here's one I did earlier. And that will that'll come out quite nice. I say centre wing. Well, there's a couple of wrinkles there, but I think they'll come out. Okay, there we are. It's looking good. Quite pleasing. I shall start spraying them up tomorrow and then once they're all sprayed and tightened, then I can start the assembly. So we let that dry and we'll come back to it in a minute. I've sprayed some lacquer on it. Now this is lacquered and weighted down. The lacquer dries really quickly actually, it only takes a couple of minutes. And then I put the cut the paper transfers out. Well, they're not transfers, the paper roundels. I glued them on with white glue, watered down, and the white glue softens the paper and allows you to mould it more into the shape of the uh, ribs. And then I made a little template out of 16th balsa to allow me to draw around it to mark the ailerons. So there's quite a few ailerons, top and bottom on all the wings. So I made a template and marked the position of it. So it was really easy actually just to draw around it with a light. You can't press too hard as you go through the tissue, by the way. So 
just do gently. I think it's about one millimeter. Nice. Um, the stick, felt tip. And then I should just spray over the top and lock it all in. So next thing was to fit the top wing. Uh, for that, I used white glue and I made sure that it pressed in really nicely on top of those Cobain struts and the angles just sat just nicely. So yeah, I was quite happy to apply some glue stick there. Yeah, I couldn't use the template they supplied because the template sticks sits on top of that triangle a bit inside the cheek. So that's why they say fit the cheeks when the plane's fully assembled. Uh, too late for that. So I'm just relying on the angle of the Cobain struts to get things really nice. So yeah, I used white glue. Uh, it's end grain, so put plenty on there. Also put some in the holes in the wings as well. Pressed it on, made sure they were rocked down we nice and evenly. And then I let that set. Next morning, got the wing alignment jigs, put them in place with rubber bands. And when I was happy, I started CA in it all together. Um, I used white glue down there, but CA just in the peg holes just to hold it in. But you notice the inner template I've cut short because I couldn't get the bottom wing to come up to match the holes. So I cut that short, but it didn't matter because the holes uh, aligned the bottom wing anyway. So that wasn't a problem, but it takes a little bit of jiggling. Uh, be patient and be careful because you don't want to punch your tissue anywhere. But they worked really well. But the whole structure is quite tight. Uh, uh, here I am about to glue the center wing onto the outer strut because there's no markings on it. So I measured it to make sure it was in the good place before I glued it. And here I'm removing the, oh, oh pre-stretch the rubber bands before you fit them, by the way, because uh, they stretch easier if you pre-stretch them. So just take your time working over, clipping it around the jig. Obviously I'm working on the starboard side now and doing the same procedure if I use the other side to assemble it all. And now, what am I going to look for? Ah yes, I used my cutters to just cut that balsa jig off now. Uh, it's finished with, it's rubbish. Uh, carefully remove it so as you don't snag the tissue. And that's the wings, see very briefly there, they're all lined up. Now I'm just putting some pin pricks in the tail plane to let the glue, white glue I used, uh, to penetrate it a little bit. Offer it up, give it a little wiggle, and then I weighed it down with one of my sockets. And stand up, eye it up, make sure it all looks good and from behind as well. And if you measure from tip, wing tip oh, to tail tip, and they're the same, then you know it's 90 degrees to the center line of the fuselage. And there it is drying, looking mighty impressive, really happy with it. And then I used my laser to line up the fin and make sure it was vertical. The laser itself is a crosshair laser. I went for a green one, just bought it on Amazon. And there's the finished aeroplane. Looking, I think, really nice. What did I do differently? Well, the cheeks I put on first instead of last, but I think they fitted really nicely around the wing. The undercarriage, I used a heavier gauge wire just in case I make it around the pole. Uh, painted the propeller and yeah there's the machine gun wheels all assembled there now just panning back a little bit giving you over you can see the underneath of the wings there looks very smart the struts are all painted in do that first because they do say do it first the instructions were really good Oh, I put a pilot in. He's only a profile pilot, but he looks the part. I do like to see a pilot in the cockpit. And put on the side stickers. Once I put on, on the, well, a paper spray over it, the number there I made 
I printed out on green background white lettering on green background instead of black lettering and on the white background supplied. And there's the fin and rudder. Um, as I say everything's lacquered now, one coat and then all the paperwork has had a, a light spray over the top so some bits have had two coats here and there but that should be enough to keep the um, moisture off. So it's come out with rubber motor at 60 grams. I had to add about six grams of lead just behind the cowl between the undercarriage legs there's a little gap and yeah really happy with it. So my first VMC model highly recommend VMC superb kits.